So this is just like a quick rant I've wanted to make for a little while and I decided what well, being as I'm still working on getting uh, all of the episode 8 stars and uh, uh, shine star shine whatever they're called in the Super Mario Sunshine um, and I thought I might as well make this video quickly because it's going to be quick, easy and it, uh, um, just something I want to get out of the way. So Minecraft 1.9 was the combat update and it, a lot of people despise this update. I mean you hate this with a passion like they put this on like one of the worst updates of all times. It's like no! Right so why do people put this on the uh, most hated uh, you know updates of Minecraft of all time? One reason when you attack you uh, attack your attacks have to recharge I'm not kidding. That, that, that's literally the only reason. Everything else in the update, if that, if uh, your attacks didn't need to recharge, wasn't in it, or was implemented better, um, and I'll go into more depth of detail about that in a minute, people would have probably said this was the best update ever. Because not only did it expand the end, giving us end cities, it also gave us a way to fly with the elytra, and uh, I also think um, flying with rockets also was implemented in 1.9, but that might could have been later, but I'm pretty sure it was also in 1.9. Um, and uh, yeah, those are some of the most fun things in Minecraft, like going through the uh, end cities, killing uh, shulkers and making shulker chests. And they basically gave us jetpacks and backpacks, just not in the exact way we were for it. And I think this is the best way they could have gave us jetpacks and backpacks um, so yeah so why do people despise recharge your attacks recharging so much because people don't like change that's actually it. like there are a couple of legitimate criticisms around it like um you can spam click but spam clicking um does a lot less damage so you're probably just gonna die so it's pointless that you should of being able to spam click in the first place but here's the thing that's not Mojang's fault that's actually the, uh, the uh, Minecraft community's fault because back when the uh, 1.9 was still in development they were releasing snapshots and one of the snapshots um, actually had uh, it so that when you were attacking in combat you could not spam click at all which I prefer I do prefer that combat mechanic overall but then, we, then they had a bunch of people complaining, so they sort of made that as a middle ground where you could spam click, it was just weaker. Which I really think that um, they should have just made it so you couldn't spam click at all. Because then the combat would have been a lot easier to adapt to. Like, bearing in mind, I was playing Minecraft on Java back when this update hit. And, uh, the, I, uh, and I had to experience going from the old combat to the new combat. So yeah, I know how jarring it, it was, but it's not like the entire game became unplayable. It's like, well, I just have to adapt to new uh, combat mechanics. And not only that, but the combat was just in, made infin almost infinitely better. Um, like I said, the, con the charging should have uh, made us a pin and at all, but um, axes now do uh, more damage than swords, but have a longer recharge, which is nice. It also implemented shields, which Bedrock now has, which I mean, like, although you can put banners on them, that will presumably come later. Um, yeah. and, it, uh, yeah, that is really nice. Like, I love being able to have a shield. Like, shields are just, like, the best items in Minecraft, apart from Elytra. And shulker boxes because while the light trench lets you get around really quickly and shulker boxes are like the best method of storage um, shields are just like the best thing for combat like um, if you don't know what a shield is basically in bedrock if you're uh, um, crouching and in Java if you're holding right click with it, it either in your off hand or in your main hand it you will pull up your shield and anything in front of you will not do any damage um, now to the side and behind you, you will take, still take damage, but everything in front of you, will all the damage will be completely blocked. And you can enchant them with Mending. 
I haven't tried any other enchantments in the survival yet just because I haven't got any other enchantments to really test it out with. Uh, I'll probably actually do some testing with that in the creative world and I'd, um, talk about that in the video. Um, you know, why Ma the Minecraft Shield is just like best, one of the best things ever. Um, and it, uh, um, oh yeah, it implemented the offhand, which Bedrock has semi hard. Like, right now you can only put shields, arrows, and maps in your offhand. Which, please, like Mojang, if you're watching this, if by some, some ungodly look you watch this, uh, please. Please, 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 for bedrock, make it so that you can put everything in your offhand, and that you use it using place block, and I don't, I don't really care, right? So here, something bedrock can need to do is it not really care too much if you can't do it on mobile because mobile the controls on it are really bad and they're just lacking like on mobile you can connect a controller so they won't be completely out or unable to use these things but they need to just be like okay what would make the game better first of all and it, uh, um have uh, uh and then have that as a mashed potato and then have it uh, being uh, um, usable or mobile as the gravy on the mashed potatoes and maybe get some bangers on the side and uh, a couple of Yorkie puddings and there you go you've got a lovely dinner um, and maybe even some uh, mushy peas um, but yeah uh, they just need to not worry too much if a feature will be usable in mobile like sure it'll suck for mobile users uh, that they can choose a couple of features but it's better that they go without rather than everybody going without and even then they could just be like oh well because i can use the this i could probably get myself a switch and then basically i'd have a bigger screen but i'd still basically have the same minecraft i know and lo love just without the god awful controls of a mobile phone um or just get a controller for my mobile phone. Um, well anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, so it uh, allowed you to place blocks and torches and everything with your offhand. And throw potions and shoot your bow. And again, please Minecraft Bedrock developers, put that into Bedrock. Because it's just the best thing ever. One of the best things ever. And, and it, uh, um, that revolutionised combat in an di entirely different way. That means you could combine like sword and food, or sword and bow, or uh, axe and shield. You know, you had a uh, had a uh, secondary option to uh, make up for the weaknesses of your main weapon, which again was just the best thing Minecraft had ever ever done. My personal favourite was sword and shield or sword and bow, and some if I was going if I was planning on doing doing some heavy combat, but I yeah, did quite often have a lot have food in my off offhand. And uh, um, if I didn't have a shield or a bow, um, and it, or or torches if I was going mining, and it, it just saved you the fuss of just like switching to a different thing when you needed to. It's just like oh, I already have it in my offhand. Use it, and it is just so much better. It's like it's just like you're in a cave you're finding some mobs and there's a skeleton over there instead of just like switching over to your bow you're just like oh I have it in my offhand and just shoot the skeleton like I said it just makes things so much better um, and it completely makes up for the fact that you can spam click whether you'll be weak like, like I said they should have just made it from the beginning that you couldn't spam click and it will kept to say that you couldn't spam click and uh, you know just have done that instead um but yeah that's that's right so like like i was saying everything that i've told you right now you know none of none of the uh, 
you know, for some reason, I it's just because people are just bitching and complaining, but people just don't ignore all the good stuff 1.9 did and just look at that one little thing, the fact that your attacks do cool down, it's like, this is the worst update ever. As if that was the only thing 1.9 did, is add that cooldown. Like, seriously, how could you say that 1.9 is the worst update when it gave us Elytra, dual wielding, shulker boxes, shields, uh, putting uh, banners on shields, I think that came up in a later update, but essentially you couldn't have done that without shields in the first place. <sighs> and, uh, the, you know, dual wielding in combat, uh, uh, being able to place blocks while dual wielding, um, such as sources and all that. How could you say that uh, 1.9 was such a bad update when it added all of that? You, you really can't. Also, it buffed creepers that are actually scary. Like, I, remember, I think um, even if you're wearing full diamond armor, you won't survive a hug with a creeper after the 1.9 update. And it's just like, it just made them scary again. You know, because you probably would actually die to them if you weren't careful. Where, you know, before then, and I think even still in Bedrock, because I don't think they got that buff in Bedrock, I could be wrong there, but you're, you're, prob you're probably not going to die to a creeper explosion at all. Um, so, yeah. That was just my quick rant on 1.9, and why it is the most underrated update of all time. In fact, in my opinion, it, it, it's not only the most underrated, it is the one of the best updates of all time, if not the best. Like, I, I had a state of mind, I guess it's like, there was an update that added redstone. And I do like my redstone. But I was like, have I used combat update, everything that was in the combat update more than any, than most, than, you know, in like a survival situation than anything to do with redstone, so... Like, sure, because I'm not, I, well, I do love messing with redstone and creating redstone machines, I'm not that knowledgeable on redstone, and um, creating big redstone projects isn't exactly my thing, so I use a 1.9 combat update mechanics a lot more than anything from any redstone update. Anyway, quick rant over. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.